Hi everybody. So I have a really cool little visual for you guys today that I heard recently and I thought that's brilliant and I want to share it with them. Because I think that a really common frustration in this business is people looking around and saying, I didn't get to my goals fa as fast as I wanted to, or watching other people that started around the same time as them or even after them get to those same goals faster. And they feel like they're working so hard and that's just not moving forward. And this is a this is something I see a lot. Um, I've experienced it myself at certain times in my business, but I watch it happen with coaches and it can be so frustrating that it literally shuts them down and kills their business. So I wanna show you a visual example of what is happening that makes that happen for some people so that you can avoid it in happening in your life. So let's pretend that the computer is your goals and this is where, you know, we all start back here as coaches. We have to move forward on the path to our goal. Everybody has to walk the same path. We all start at zero. We all start as new coaches. So what makes the difference between people who take those steps and get to their goals really quickly and the ones who feel like they work and work and work and spin their tires and never get there? Well, the difference is consistency. I know you guys are probably like, oh, consistency. I hear it all the time. But I think that this example is going to help you really understand what we mean when we say that. So every single day in your business, every single month in your business that you do the three vital behaviors, that you hit success club, that you hit those milestones, milestones, you are taking a step forward to your goals. You're getting closer. Feels good, right? You maybe have a really great day and you send out all these extra invites. You knock out all your vital behaviors. Step closer. You hit success club in the month. You help those new three to five people. You've got these awesome challenges that you're really pouring into. Step closer. Every single time a step closer. So what happens though is that sometimes we have stuff happen in our life or we get a little bit burnt out or overwhelmed or for whatever reason we get lazy we or we just decide it's not important and we stop doing those vital behaviors or we say I'll just do them tomorrow, I'll, I'll catch up on the weekend, whatever the excuse is. And we think that we're pausing, right? Like Zach Morris in... Um, Save the Bell, where he pauses everything and everybody like freezes and he can go about his business. We think that that's what we're doing in our life and our business. We're hitting the pause button. Our business is going to stay right here, close to our goals, and we can go about the rest of our life and come back to it when we want. But I believe that we are never really standing in one place. Every action or inaction is moving us closer to our goals or further away. And this is the same principle that's talked about in The Slight Edge. If you've read that book, you've probably seen it in your life. You've probably experienced this principle without even knowing it. But your inaction at that point doesn't make you hit the pause button in your business. It actually makes you move backwards because this business is one of consistency. And it's not something where you can not do action for a long time and then do a bunch of action at one small time and have it equal the same. Just like with your teeth, you can't not brush your teeth all week and then brush them for a half hour on Saturday and have it be the same. I'm sorry, but it just doesn't work that way. Coaching is the same way. You can't not do action for a long time, then crank out crap tons of action and expect to have the same results. Here's why. Every time that you don't do your vital behaviors in a work day or you go a month and you don't hit success club, you don't stay right here. You actually move backwards. Your business takes a step backwards instead of forwards. Then when you come back to it, not only do you have to take that last step towards your goal, but now you have to make up for your backwards step. So you actually have more work to do than you would have before. And this is why people feel like they're working so hard and never getting anywhere because they're really not getting anywhere. They're getting closer and then further and then closer and then further. And all their time is spent making up lost ground instead of actually having forward progress. And it's so frustrating when you're stuck in that cha-cha. I don't want any of you guys there because you're using all of this effort and you're not actually getting the last step towards your goal. So how do we avoid this? Well, we have to take those consistent actions every single day hitting success club every single month, and that moves us closer. Imagine how much better it will feel, how much less frustrating to take those small steps every day and get to your goal, rather than having to spend all your time making up for backwards progress. You're covering ground you've already covered. You're just giving yourself more work to do that way. Why would we do that to ourselves? Here's why. 
because these things are easy to do and they are easy not to do. Not doing your personal development is really easy. It's really easy to just say, oh, I'll do it later tonight before bed and get into bed and say, oh, I'm just too tired. I'll just read extra tomorrow. And then tomorrow comes and you go, oh, you know what? I just ran out of time. Maybe I'll listen to a podcast. You get in the car, you listen to the radio, and it's your song, and you never change it. Now you've gone two days without it. And every single day, you're not just standing in the same place. You're taking these tiny little incremental steps backwards in your business. Every single month that you don't hit Success Club, you're taking a step backwards in your business. You need those new people. You need those new challengers, that new energy coming into your business to be moving it forward. You need to have the satisfaction of helping people so that you remember how awesome this is and you want to keep going. All of these things tie in together. So my challenge for you guys is to figure out what is your motivation for doing these things. What is your why? Not just because I want to help people, not just because I want to... Um, you know, build a business and not even just because I want to, you know, build an income so I can stay home with your kids. That is great. But what is the fuel that's going to fire you up every single day to push past apathy, to push past laziness, to push past tiredness, to push past excuses and to get those three vital behaviors done to get success club locked in for the month so that you can be consistently moving forward towards these goals every single day, every single week, every single month until you have them in the palm of your hand. I want nothing more for you guys than to have you have your goals in the palm of your hand so we can celebrate you achieving all of them. If I could do it for you, I would, but I can't. So I need you guys to figure out what is going to make you take action consistently every single day and then commit to doing it. And then we can celebrate when you get to your goals together. Thanks for listening.